Hey, how's it going, everybody? Um, today's a good day. I got my CNC machine controller working. Uh, TB um, 6550, I believe it is. Uh, figured I'd make a video, show you guys how it's working, how it's running on Mach 3. So there might be a little movement in the camera and stuff, but uh, I'll show you what I got. All right, let's see. Okay. Well, this is the little setup I've made. Uh, it's basically a little plastic bread box. These are the motors I have. They're 880 ounce inch stepper motors. That's the power supply to this fan on the top and a on and off switch. If you can see that. These are the wires here. That's my speaker cabinet for my guitar. And then we got all the leads running out for each axis. The X, Y, and Z. So take off this. This is my e-stop switch here. Kind of hang this down over here. If anybody had a problem with these Chinese boards, these are eight wire motors here. And basically, what I did is I got a four wire, and for these eight wire stepper motors in series, is X, Y, and Z. Um, if you can see on that board, I don't know. If you get a board yourself, you'd be able to see better. But uh, this is the X here. So this would be A positive, A negative, B positive, and B negative. So what I found out was, is trying to do these in series, is I went to Radio Shack. I grab this four wire setup and it comes, you know, as you can see, uh, green, red, black, and white. And on these stepper motors here, basically what come happens with all the documentation that comes on it, it's all screwed up. Make it hell back to try to figure out what's what. So basically, if you take the same exact wires here, the black, or the red, the black, and the white, and the green, and hook them straight up to the eight wires, the color wise, is over here, they're going to have four wires left over. And those four wires are the jumpers in between each of two sets of the coils because there's four coils inside here. So I should have had one of these undone. But basically what it comes down to is um, I, think, I believe it was Brent um, yellow and blue were one group and brown and this pink or salmon colored wire go together and then everything else hooks up normal and on the on each axis for an eight wire it goes red red black red black white and green on each one and this is a fourth axis so if i had another stepper motor i'd wire it up the same exact way and all of them would work and let's see normally you guys would probably see these boards 
and they'd only have one fan. But I added another because I burnt up um, a board that only had three axes, so I had an extra fan. I don't know if you can see what I've done there. But right there where the connection is for the, this fan that's usually one in the center, right next to that plug is another place to attach an, another plug. So I took the fan off my old board that burned up and I soldered the leads in same exact direction as those and ran it in and just moved it over and put another fan. So now I got two fans here. I think there might be something wrong with this fan. So I have to figure that out. But um, When you're setting up your Mach 3 to run um, basically you need to uh, Try to get this in a good position so you can see. So let's start Mach 3 here. Um, inside of um, Mach 3, in the in the folder itself, I had a hell of a time getting it to actually read the board. So. Um, you have to go into Mach 3 here and run this diagnostic. Okay. I don't know if you can see that. Let's run this diagnostic right here. Right there. And run it as the administrator. And then it will let you do the process. Hook up your control pin, you know, your 25 pin to your par parallel port. And uh, it's going to ask you to restart the computer. I couldn't get it to run. All the lights on the board were coming up solid red. And I didn't know what the hell was going on until I read that. Um, I ran this driver test and then it took over the computer and all of a sudden started running. Right. So, let's see. Let's get this camera right here. So if we go over here, start Mach 3. It has on here, I don't know if you can see that very well, but it's the 4-axis TB6560 uh, XML file. You drop that into your um, Mach 3 folder and it pops up on here. Start that up. And there's the thing here. So you, I did the configuring pins, uh, motor tuning, 2000, 75, 25, 3 and 3. And you do that same thing for each axis. Okay. And then you hit save settings for each one hit OK and then under ports and pins I believe it was it's supposed to be this but I just left it here on this port that's your main parallel port and then under motor outs 16 enable these 16 14 3 9 one seven six eight and then these are ones ones inputs it's on the X outputs enable these these are all ones there's four seventeen five and five hit apply hit OK go up and load uh, you know, the little um, G code, say load G code, say the good old Wonder Roadrunner, 
There's the code. There's the tool path. And basically, you hit reset. Make sure you're at the top of the code with rewind. And hit start. And we go over here and basically we can see some motors moving. I put it on a little thing here so it wouldn't be so loud, but it's basically them doing the job. Uh, need some help, comment me on my uh, video here. I'll show you the board lights trickling away. If you can see it. I'm kind of turning on and off and fans are going and power is good. Just make sure that when you're setting up your power, this is your main power in from the wall. And then I use black as a load black was positive. This probably should have been a red wire coming out, but make sure that it's on this outside thing because if and it goes to positive. And then this one's the white's negative. But if you do that for one split second and have these wires crisscrossed here or here, make make sure you pay a lot of attention to that. That uh, you will fry this board quick so there you go so far I've had no problems the motors running it's already halfway through the program and over here I can go back to here Turn my feed rate down where normal area is, and I still get some good movement on the motors. So it's working. All nice and smooth and quiet. These are great motors. These things are huge. They're a lot of power. I got it in. This is wired in, in series, not parallel, so they're a lot of torque. All right. Well, take it easy, and if you need any help with anything, let me know, and I'll try to help. Believe me, it's not easy. <laughs> Sometimes it can be a real pain in the butt. All right, talk to you later.